Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about this device that hasn't been quite released and started shipping yet. It's a ESP32 Game Boy Color, and it's an actual, authentic Game Boy Color case and setup, with the insides changed. It is in very early stages, there's a lot of work to be done on it, but I, I really like it. I actually owned a lime green Game Boy Color when I was in middle school. And so this is incredibly nostalgic for me. I will be helping out to develop things for the firmware on this device as well. Right now it's got about eight different systems. Uh, obviously Game Boy, Game Boy Color, there's Master System, uh, there's Game Gear, there's Coleco. Lynx isn't here yet, but I do know that it will work in the future. Just going to give you guys a quick little demonstration of what's going on here. To me, I think this is really cool to be able to emulate these things on an actual Game Boy body. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this project, I can already tell now. And honestly, this isn't overly expensive either. I think it's 55 bucks plus shipping, so maybe about 70, 75 bucks, give or take. You get a really cool case with it, too. It's a, a thick, hard plastic casing. I will be doing more videos about this as time goes on. And I will be giving you guys probably a teardown in the next few days as well. I'll take it apart and show you what's inside of it. Also, because I've had a few people ask me what this is and why I wear this on my neck in all my videos, this is my little brother. It's David. Uh, most of you know that he passed away in August. Uh, I keep, we had him made into necklaces and lockets, and I keep them here. Quick look at this one here. Eventually I'll take the screen plastic off, don't worry eventually I did note a touch of choppiness in the Game Boy Color emulation but I'm honestly not worried about it because of how early the firmware and build is for this A text reader, <laughs> a music player in case you wanted to listen to music for some reason. Now Ness here, there's a touch of lag in the audio here, as you can hear I'm sure. It's actually playing too fast, which I think has a lot to do with it. Again though, I've seen this particular behavior before, and it's almost always just the emulator it needs to be redone. Ness is not hard to emulate. Let's take a closer look here. Inside the back here, these rechargeable batteries. Let me flip this around so you can get a look at it here. 800 mile, 3.7 volt. Charges through the bottom port, and the LED is in that little hole you see next to the batteries. This is the SD card reader cleverly disguised inside of a cartridge. All in all, I, I really like this device. The cart reader. Unfortunately, at the moment, it can't play real Game Boy games. I'm not sure if that's something that can be done in the future or not. I'll look into it and let you know. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.